We've been uh, doing the RDWC system which is behind me, that's what the buzzing noise is. Uh, and while we were germinating those seeds to plant in there, we set off some other seeds, same varieties, a couple of tomatoes and a chili. Um, we used rock wool to plant the RDWC plants and it was successful and they're, they're growing really well. For this batch we used uh, Harvey Nelson Garden pods, empty seed pods, which are a mix of cocoa core and um, yeah, a, a nice growing substrate. Planted the seeds and these have been in this seed trough here and uh, sitting in nutrient solution since the first couple of leaves and they're yeah they're looking nice and strong we want to give these guys the best chance uh, the harvey system is a kratky system essentially it's a reservoir of nutrients that the roots dangle down into and there's a nice bit of uh, an air gap before the top of the plant so the roots get well developed we thought we would try and supercharge that and turn the harvey six into a DWC. Um, we have a DWC from Grow Riller over there. I'm going to take the air stone from that. The tubing and um, our little pump here. And yeah, we're going to feed it down the side, fill this up with a TA, tripart, terra aquatica nutrients to the correct level, uh, feed in the air hose transplant our tomatoes and chilies into these pods turn it on put it under our leads and yeah let it go okay so the first thing we need to do is get some water and as you can see nine liters brings me just to that mark there Okay, so we have our Terra Aquatica tripart grow, micro, and bloom. And as I said, for the lowering the pH a bit, we have their pH minus powder. Okay, so I've measured out my uh, nutrients for nine litres of water. I'm going to start with tripart grow. Okay, like I said before, we have our pump and tubing and air stone from the DWC. This is our little Hylia pump. Super small. Should be plenty of air to give some bubbles to this Harvey. Tubing. And little air stone. All right, so we're going to put the air stone on the slightly more rigid black section of this pipe. The other end goes on to our air pump here. Do it again. Do it again. Nice back. And there you have it. Supercharged Harvey 6. Okay, let's give this a little test again. 7.2, 7 7.19, 7.18. Um, interesting that this is a lot lower than, well, last week when we did the water change and the PHEC test on the RDWC system. Uh, check it out if you haven't seen it. Yeah, 7.18. I have my own well here at the house, so I guess the water changes quite dramatically. Okay, I'm not actually sure these kitchen scales are sensitive enough to measure half a gram. No, no they just turned off again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for this instead and measure out. This is one milliliter measuring cup. I'm going to give a half of this. 
and call that 0.5 grams. Okay, let's test the pH again. It's been left for a while. Um, hopefully, it's a bit lower. Six point six five. It's going to settle there somewhere, and I'm pretty happy with that. I might come and test it tomorrow and see if it's shifted again. 21 degree water. Let's put the plants in. All right, great. So we're gonna put the lid back on our RV6 here. The air tube is just coming out of one end. It sits up a little bit, but there's enough room for it. And we'll start moving our plants in. We've got our chili here on the end. Bubbles. And a click. One of the Just a little click. And they're in. Uh, we've got a kale on the end here. Okay, great. So there we have it, our supercharged Harvey 6 uh, with uh, air stone from a DWC from Grow Real Hydroponics. Let's see how it does in the next yeah, week or so. Hopefully these plants will grow up big and strong. All right, see you in the next one.